All right, guys. Say out loud with me. I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus. Now say, I am enjoying this bus ride. I am enjoying this bus ride. I know you all looking at me asking yourself, Jamisha, why am I on this bus? And why am I enjoying it, right? We will be getting to that momentarily. I want that to be planted in the back of your mind as we go on this journey together. See, God oftentimes gives me these very vivid dreams. And this one particular dream is stuck with me. I was on a bus, riding the entire time. We made one pit stop, and then when it was time to get back on, my seat was taken. I was looking at everybody and everybody was looking at me and we all were clapping. What could that possibly mean, right? Webster defines a process as a series of steps and actions that one must take in order to achieve a particular ending. Today, I will be describing how we all can enjoy the bus ride how we all can enjoy the process of achieving any type of goals. That is through three phases of listening, accepting that things are gonna happen, and sharing, sharing our truth. Join this bus ride with me because we have a lot of learning to do. Each one of us knows how the different areas in our life should look, correct? Whether professionally, personally, or through relationships. We design goals and strategies that should align with our visions. But why is that? This is the first thing I start asking myself before I start to write down my goals. What is my intention in life? I know that eventually I want to be a better human being for myself and for others, but I never stop and ask myself, what would I be, what would I be learning while I am on this journey? Let's go ahead and go to our first stop on this bus ride, which is listening. Now, how many of you have had conversations with your family or your friends and they have told you that they are wonderful listeners? Now, how many of you have said that you are great listeners? Now, I can raise my hand because my friends and family know that I say, oh, I'm a good listener. And I actually thought I was a good listener until I became a teacher. Currently, I am a teaching assistant for human communication, where we teach college freshmen through seniors. And they ask me the same questions over and over and over again. So one day, I decided to share with them the difference between listening and hearing. While hearing is sound that goes through the ear channel, listening is a learned process of receiving, interpreting, recalling, evaluating, and responding to both nonverbal and verbal communication. Whew, my breath is out. I know that sounds like a lot just to, just to listen, right? But here's the benefit. The more that we listen to each other, the more we are becoming active listeners. Active listening is a great skill to have because now you are learning to empathize with people. You're learning to take their personal experiences and apply it to your own life. How can you get closer to your goals by listening to someone that already been there? Remember, we already know what we want to achieve. It's others out there that have achieved what we consider a milestone. We must find these answers by asking them the right questions. Questions such as, what did you learn in this process? How did that make you feel? Or what advice would you give to someone who may be going through a similar journey? During the summers, I work as a theater instructor for a nonprofit organization, The Sounds of Joy. Here we teach elementary, middle, and high school scholars the basic techniques that they will need to be outstanding performers of the arts. Now, my very first lesson I wanted to teach my students was how to network, how to build community with one another. That is very important. I know where one student was good with creating, another student was good with performing. If they listen to each other outside of the lessons that I was teaching them, they will be comfortable and eventually comfortable with sharing the stage. 
at the end of the journey, they had an outstanding performance. Isn't this how listening works? There are many benefits when we listen to each other, when we build community and network. We build friendships, partnerships, and relationships. Now, let's go on our second stop, which is the process of accepting. My mom always says this, it is what it is, right? Once you accept the fact that the unknown may happen during your process while you are working towards your goals, you are now welcoming positivity. When the unknown and things are out of our control happen, what can we do, crowd? Nothing. An actress once stated in an uncensored interview that the only things that we have control over is what we love to do. Stop and take a moment and think about that. We only have control over ourselves, of course, and what we love, our passion, our creativity, our talent. Now, if you're not sure what you love to do or why you're on this planet, I'm here to tell you that's for you to go on your own journey to find out. But the more you found your love and your passion, the more time and energy that you would invest into that particular skill or craft. Now, for me, as you can see, I love to talk. <laughs> One of my favorite models is the communication model. Here you can see, once the sender sends out a message, it is now up to the receiver to decode that message. There may be noise and nonverbals around that may kind of hinder the sender's intention. But remember, the sender always knows the intention. It is up for the world around the sender to figure out what that intention is. If no one knows your intentions, that is okay. Keep your eyes on the vision. Keep your eyes on the ending. Keep your eyes on where you want to go. Forget about what everybody else says. Remember why you are here and what you love to do. Now, what can we say about failures in this process? I'm gonna tell you that they may happen and that is okay. There is beauty in every failure, every failure. Separate yourself out of the emotion and ask yourself, what am I learning? What should I learn from this, this failure or this mistake or this no? I promise you, we all have a story. Now we are on to our last stop of this bus ride, which is sharing. If you wanna go back to my dream when I said it was time for me to get back on the bus and we all were clapping and my seat was taken, that was my time to share my tools and my truth. It's time for me to share my testimonies with everyone. God always placed us here for a reason, right? right. So what is your truth? Remember, we always wanna motivate each other. Each one of us are on different processes. Isn't it good to know that someone out there may be on the similar process, if not worse? Remember, Disclosure is a form of motivation. Some may not feel comfortable sharing their truth. It may resolve, it may come up to unresolved pain and that is okay. But we must continue to motivate each other. Remember, the ride may be a bumpy one. There may be unplanned stops. There may be an unplanned blowout. But when it happens, what can you do? Change the tire and go in a different direction. Remember, you still have to get to your destination, regardless of what may happen. Now, I'm gonna ask you this question again. What is your love? What is your passion? What is your talent? Why are you here on this planet? What are you doing now to motivate someone that's sitting next to you? They may look like their process and their ride is easy. It may be a bumpy one. We will get to our goals eventually. Now, say out loud with me again. I am on the bus. I am on the bus. Great. My legacy is always going to be to leave information that I've learned, things that I've went through, because it may help someone else. 
And I will hope someone would do the same for me. Thank you.